We'll right. take first question right here in the front row. Uh, hold, hold on. Oh, well, I, go ahead. You know, I give our guys credit. Uh, Steve just said it to our guys at the end of the game. We, we had a formula, and our, our guys did a nice job trying to follow it. And you give him credit. Uh, he's talked from day one about winning the possession game. And, you know, our guys had four turnovers for the course of the game. And that's a good defensive team. And uh, they're active and athletic and long and they anticipate really well. So for them to be able to jump the passing lanes like they have in the past and so on and so forth, for our guys to go out there for 48 minutes and have four turnovers was fantastic. You know, another thing we talked about was keeping them off the offensive glass. And, you know, Tristan Thompson's a load. Uh, he's been destroying almost everyone he's come across in the playoffs on the offensive glass. And, you know, Zaza Pachulia didn't play a ton of minutes, but the minutes he played, uh, especially at the beginning of the game, kind of set the tone for us on the offensive glass. And so, you know, small contributions like that from uh, our entire roster uh, bode well for a good game. You know, obviously KD scored and, and Steph scored, but what you like about both those guys, Steph had 10 assists. He also had six rebounds as your point guard. KD had eight assists and then eight rebounds. Uh, and then, you know, last but not least, I'll tell you what, uh, and everybody's probably going to talk about it, and, you know, the number wasn't good in terms of three for 16, but, you know, we, we've asked Clay Thompson to do a lot throughout the course of the, our playoff run so far. I mean, he's guarded some tremendous, tremendous point guards. And, you know, he's chasing Kyrie around in pick and roll action, pin down action, iso action, and transition. And you're not going to stop Kyrie. Kyrie's going to score. Uh, that's, that's what he does. He's one of the best in the world at it. And you give Clay Thompson a ton of credit because you know, he's out there fighting over screens, getting hit, trying to contest, trying to rebound. He's trying to do it all for us defensively. And then offensively, he just keeps playing the right way. That's what we love about him. John Dickinson from 95.7 The Game. Uh, Coach, when you look at Kevin Durant and his aggressiveness, in particular going to the basket and the way you guys were able to, to dominate in the paint, I mean, did Durant set that tone for you guys? And, and did you, is that something you felt you could exploit? No doubt. You know, we, we were talking about it before the game. And, you know, Steve suggested we try to get the ball in his hands right away and put him in a position where he can attack downhill. And uh, so we tried to do that early on, and KD didn't settle. When he had an opportunity, he went downhill, and, and it worked out well. Tim Kawakami, Mercury's bike. We all know that Durant and LeBron's the marquee matchup. Did you, what were your expectations for that going in the game? And since they ended up guarding each other almost the whole time, did you expect that? And how did you think that, that turned out? Uh, I mean, it was two big household names. And so, you know, we know you guys and the fans are going to want to see that and pick up on it. And, you know, I'm sure LeBron probably thinks he could play better. And, you know, you, you tip your hat off to KD because we put him on plenty of guys tonight. Not only did he guard LeBron, but he, he guarded Kevin Love for a while. And then, you know, we put him on Kyrie also. Uh, so his length and his versatility really help out. And I thought defensively overall on all the guys that he guarded, he did a fantastic job. He was a presence uh, mentally and physically. He was locked in. What was the emphasis for him specifically defending LeBron? Just stay big, stay big in front of him? Stay big. And, and you know, LeBron is obviously a very good three-point shooter. And so we wanted – you know, KD to, to, you know, make him try to drive, you know, at times as opposed to being able to dance at the top of the floor and measure a three and, you know, try to use your length at the rim and see if he can score over the top of him. Second row on the right. Phil Barber, Santa Rosa Press Democrat. I know you weren't with the team last year, but I'm sure you saw a lot of the film. It seemed like in the playoffs last year, the uh, tactic by opposing defenses was to really crowd at the three-point line, make you guys score inside. Cleveland had success with it. Obviously, today, that didn't work for them. Like, how, how does, a, specifically Durant, just change the dynamic of, of that with a team trying to crowd your outside shooting? But, you know, obviously, he's seven feet. And if he doesn't have the ball in his hands, if he's outside the three-point line, you know, you, you can't help off him much. And if you got Clay out there, you can't help off him much neither. So, uh, you know, depending on who has the ball, that 
that key is or that lane could be wide open. And so, when we, you know, we feel like our opponents have to pick their poison. They're going to crowd the paint and take away you know, our, our layups, or they're going to guard the three. And, you know, it's just pleasure of having guys that can knock down that three ball or that, that are threats out there. And then on the flip side, you know, you saw it a couple of times. We were stressing, stressing to our wings. Steve stressed our wings even at halftime. Hey, run the floor and fill the corners. If you do that with the way we shoot the ball, but I mean, you saw Kevin, I think Katie got maybe three uncontested dunks because we had Steph in one corner and Clay in the other corner, and Katie was pushing the basketball. You know, we want our guys to push on every possession, make or miss, because we feel like we play a lot of guys. We feel like our guys are well rested, and we feel like we should be able to attack on every single play. And our guys did that, but it was really important to get our guys to the corner to flatten out the defense and make them decide, you're going to leave the corner, three-point shooter and stop the ball, or are you going to stay home? Greg Lowe.